This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 512 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by EquestrianCollections.com. Hi, Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is from Dr. Wendy Ying. Dr. Ying is co-host of the Driving Radio Show here on the Horse Radio Network, as well as one of the few female competition foreign-hand drivers in the world. She is also a veterinarian and also practices traditional Chinese medicine. Today's tip is the last in a seven-part series about the five elements of Chinese medicine. Today, the wrap-up. But first, a word about today's sponsor, EquestrianCollections.com. When dedicated equestrians need quality name-brand products for themselves, their horses, or their stables, they go to EquestrianCollections.com. Why, you may ask? Because of the astounding variety of top name-brand products that can be found there. EquestrianCollections.com knows that you want products that you can count on, and they have thousands of them available at competitive prices. And they don't stop there. You can also take advantage of savvy shopper email programs, rider reward programs for your stable or club, and even sign up for special unlimited shipping. No matter whether you jump in the meter 15 classes, chase equitation points all the way to Congress or to the Nationals, or just enjoy big sky country aboard your horse, equestriancollections.com has the name brand products and great service that you need to help you enjoy your horse time to the fullest. Visit them today, equestriancollections.com. Now, enjoy today's tip. We're coming up to our segment of Dr. Ying's traditional Chinese medicine update. And today we are wrapping up the final episode in the five elements. Is that, am I right about that? You're right about that. Okay, good. So today we're talking about how the elements all go back and relate to each other. If you've missed this, it's important that you go back to the beginning of our shows and listen back to them. We do it this at the end of every episode. You should be listening to every episode anyway. But you, <laughs> you, if you missed the ones before you, and just found our show, you can go back and listen to previous episodes where she talks about the five different elements and all about this. Today she's going to talk to us about how they all relate, who gets along, and who hates each other. Right. And you know what? Glenn, this is a perfect example. I was going to start with wood, but we can start with, me- with metal. Because this show, this whole time, we've gotten off topic, like, I don't know how many times. It's taken us forever to do this show because Jennifer's left us alone. We are going to be here about dinner time, I think. I yeah. know, but <laughs> because we lost our medal. So you and I have just gone rambling on and on. And basically, uh, how they all relate together, like I'm saying, that like the medal kind of controls us. They, they like to be That in would the be box. my wife, who's the producer, who has yeah, left us to go play with her horse. Left us alone, and now... <laughs> We're not following any schedule whatsoever. (laughs) But um, anyway, so how the elements all relate together, they can have positive effects or negative effects. So the positive effects would be like they, the, the element, if you imagine it all in a circle, and I'll put a picture of this up on the website. um, As you go around the circle, the element that the mother of the other element is the supporter. That's the nurturer. And so, like, for example, we're starting with Jennifer, who's the metal. So the mother of Jennifer, the mother of the metal is earth. So, you know, Jennifer kind of gets like, uh, I'm not going to say stuck in a rut, but left her own devices. She'd probably like do the same thing. Oh, all she, the time. Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. So like the earth is kind of like, you know, laid back, easy going, and is like ready to try new things. So they'd be like, "Come on, Jennifer, let's." We've eaten the same thing every day. You can't eat a chicken Caesar salad every day for your entire life. Let's go do Mexican food. You know. So with the horses, if you have a a metal horse and you're an earth person. You're the kind of person that would be like, well, you know what? We don't have to school dressage today. Let's go for a trail ride or let's try plowing, (laughs) (laughs) which let me say I'm not recommending that for dressage horses. (laughs) But um, so so that's how that can those elements can help each other. Um, 
Do you think I should go around the whole circle, or you think that's going to be too long for our segment? Well, let's talk about. Uh, let's just talk about a couple more, and then we'll put examples up on our Facebook page, and we can put the chart and everything. So we're both fires, okay? So yeah. where do who helps us out? The metal. Oh no, the the wood is the mother of our element. Ah, okay. and the wood's kind of like the bossy one. So, like, okay, here's a perfect example of that. You and I decide right now we want to go to dinner in a movie. Which we very well might do. We so, might. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? We'd have to discuss like what movie we're going to go to. And then we're like, oh, my God. You know what? I remember when I saw that movie, I, it reminded me of this movie. And you say, oh, I love that movie, too. Blah, blah, blah. And then we talk and talk and talk. We could never figure out what we're going to do, where we're going to go to dinner. And then the wood would be like, oh, come on. We're going to go to see Conan at the movie tavern. And we're going right now, 630 in 3D. So the wood, like is bossy and keeps us in line. Um, so that's like the, the supporting cycle. Those are some examples of supporting cycle. So some examples of the, there's also an, an inhibitory cycle, right? So for our element, um, the, the like grandfather of our element, of the fire, is the water. And the water is the planner, I mean, the, the metal stays in the box and they're organized, but the water is the one that is like cautious and like sees all the ways we can go, like sees all the paths and then like weighs all the options and then chooses the right path and like kind of can play people like a pawn. So for us, we don't even like see that coming, you know, so they can. Yeah, you know, we would be oblivious. We, we would be played like pawns. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason most salespeople, I taught sales for many years, yeah. and most salespeople are fires. They tend to be on the fire side. Right. And we are the biggest suckers when it comes to other salespeople. Oh, really? Yes. Because you fall for their, their... Yeah, because we're just... But you don't even write your sales pitch, right? There's somebody in the office writing the big main sales pitch. Yeah, yep, right? That, yeah, that's right. And that's just, the water. Yep. So the way we can relate that to horses is, um, like, say you have a fire horse. Those are great show horses um but you have to kind of control that in some way so if you're a um so a fire person a fire horse doesn't get along very well they can but they have to be very skilled you know they can one of them's got to get hurt like with anything yeah <laughs> they can overcome the little uh incongruencies but uh they have to use more skill it's a little bit harder but if you're a water person, you already know, okay, you know what? When I go past that big, huge green ball next to the arena, my horse is either going to bolt or is going to, you know, run away or is going to just go by it or blow. They know all the things, and then they plan ahead, and then they bend them away from the ball and get by it. Whereas you and I would be like, oh, look at that big green ball. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And you'd be totally distracted, not thinking about yeah. it. Giddy up. <laughs> exactly. Oops. <laughs> We're back out in the parking lot again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's the way that you can use that with your, um, with the different personalities and how you go with your animal. And, and for example, like, uh, like I said, with dogs, there's a lot of dogs that are waters. And like their, their grandfather element is the earth which is easygoing. So if you have a dog, a water dog would be like a fear biter or um, like a thunderstorm anxiety animal. So if you're an earth person, you're easygoing. Like you don't get upset when new people are at the door. So you exude this calmness that they pick up on. But if you're real nervous when somebody comes to the door and you have a nervous dog, then, they, you know, they pick up on that. <laughs> Interesting. I never so, thought about it in relation to the dogs. Too. To the dogs is really important because they live with us. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the cats, I think, uh, for the most part, well, don't, don't even care. care. I was no. going to say, they, <laughs> they like <laughs> they run the place uh, anyway. Yeah, they so. know what we're feeling, but they don't care. It's yeah. not going to bother them. Right, they're doing their own thing. That's right. They're running the place. You're they're yeah. in charge, and you better do mm -hmm. what they say. But for dogs, it is really important because they have to live with us. Yeah, and that's why it's really important to know those characteristics about yourself before you pick out a dog, because a lot of dogs that people adopt from the shelters um, have they're in, unbalanced emotionally because they've been through the trauma of whatever got them to the shelter. So it's interesting because I'm a fire, and yeah. we got a greyhound. Yeah. Uh, uh, the greyhound, who by the way is sleeping right underneath uh, Wendy's Hang feet out. at this very moment. Ooh. And so what would she would be more of a water probably. Is she nervous kind of? 
Does she, she gets, not? Does she, she gets she, jumpy at thunderstorms and yeah. things like that. And she doesn't like to be left alone. She doesn't like to be left alone. No greyhound yeah. does. They always like to have company because yeah. they grew up in packs. Right. So at the track, there was lots of them. Yeah. Um, but and you know what else? The so if she's a water, um, and Jennifer is a metal, the metal is the um, the mother supporting element of the water. Ah, and you know what's funny is she she will not, as you can see, she doesn't get more than two feet from me. But when Jennifer's around right. uh, and it's food time, she knows. <laughs> yeah. Well, she has a dog. Yes. <laughs> and then also interesting is the water, like we were just talking about, is the the inhibitory one, the grandfather of the of the fire. So that's a great dog for you guys, for your family. Oh, good. We picked because her. Because she, she's great for you because you like her being around. Doesn't she give you like some calmness when she's around? Yes. She's always right there, two feet yeah. from me. So, so that's good because she like kind of tones down your fire so it doesn't get out of control. And then she's supported by Jennifer. So that's a really nice cycle that you have in your family. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we did it right. You did it right. <laughs> Well, there you go. That was a lot of fun to learn all about the different elements of Chinese medicine from Dr. Ying. If you would like to listen to more of Wendy's tips, just go to horsetipdaily.com and go to the experts drop-down menu on the left. All of our experts are right there, alphabetized and easy to find. And Glenn the Geek is amongst them. You can also do a drop-down menu by topic there on the left if you're a topic-driven listener. Please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like to hear us cover. You can subscribe to all of the great shows of the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zune and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zune, or MP3 player. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse! The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. Music